Pike minnow includes four individual species native to western North America, and they're found in a variety of landscapes, everything from Red Rock Desert to the Pacific Northwest. Opinions and views for these species range everywhere from being the subject of a major conservation effort to being considered an undesirable nuisance that carries a literal bounty on its head. What makes this even more interesting is that at a glance these four species all look and behave very similar. The name pike minnow is a bit deceiving, as these fish are not what most would consider minnow in size, with the largest species historically reaching a massive 6 feet in length. Pike minnows have developed a reputation as a trash fish, or a nuisance predator, though this view is somewhat controversial and is not always considered to be accurate. The name squawfish was historically used for all four species, but it was officially replaced with pike minnow by the American Fishery Society in 1999 due to cultural sensitivity. Pike minnows coexist with many salmon, trout, and sucker species in the rivers of the Pacific Northwest. These fish are highly piscivorous, and their aggressive predation on young salmonids often raises concern. To make matters worse, rivers impounded by man-made structures have led to conflicts with the conservation of game fish, as these structures have allowed for some species of pike manna to thrive in areas they previously wouldn't have, and therefore they have become a larger predatory threat to these other salmonid species. Since the physical appearance of these four fish are very similar, the most important factor of identification for each of these species is understanding the range of where each is found. The northern pike minnow is found in the northwestern US. Adults can reach over 30 inches, but on average they're usually around 16 inches. This fish has a long snout with the mouth reaching back to the eye. It has a somewhat flattened head and a deep broad body. Coloration is a dark olive green or brown being silvery or creamy white on the belly. Counting fin rays is a tedious but sometimes necessary method of identification for pike minnows in areas where their range may overlap or come close to each other. The northern pike minnow has 9 rays on the dorsal fin and 9 rays on the anal fin. Fish in turbid mainstem rivers often look silvery, but fish found in tributaries tend to be darker green. Northern pike minnow inhabit the Pacific Slope of Western North America, ranging from coastal British Columbia's Nass River Basin throughout Washington and Oregon into Idaho and northwestern Montana. They occupy slower moving pools, reservoirs, and rivers. Juveniles and adults both feed on a wide range of prey. Young fish start on insects and crustaceans, but as they grow into adults, they become proficient fish eaters, often consuming salmon and steelhead. In fact, it's estimated that millions of juvenile salmonids may be eaten each year by northern pike minnow in the Columbia and Snake Rivers, which has prompted active management for the species. Northern pike minnow are not a protected species and are actually considered a nuisance by fisheries managers because of how they prey on game fish. Oregon, Washington, and federal agencies operate a sport reward program where anglers are paid to catch and remove northern pike minnow as an effort to reduce the population of these predatory fish. Rewards range from $6 to $10 per fish, and then the more fish an angler catches, the more they're worth. So for example, the first 25 fish in one season are worth $6 each. Then after 25, they're worth $8 each. And after 200 fish, each fish is then worth $10 each. Verified external tags are worth $500, and verified pit tagged fish are worth $200. In 2024, the top 20 anglers in this program caught an average of just under 4,700 fish per angler, and that averaged at a reward payment of $47,300 for the five month season. The highest paid angler earned $164,260. So as you can imagine, there are people out there actually making a living off of removing this fish species. The Colorado pike minnow is a much different story. This pike minnow is the largest of the four species. In current times, adult Colorado pike minnows are typically 2-3 to three feet and weigh under 10 pounds. But historic reports describe that individuals used to reach an incredible 6 feet in length and used to weigh over 80 pounds. This fish has a very long, blunt, and flat head. Their back is olive green, grading to yellowish sides and a pale belly. 
Males develop a bronze coloration and tubercles on the head during summer spawning. This species is endemic to the Colorado River Basin and is found only in limited stretches of river primarily in Utah, Arizona, and Colorado. Colorado pike minnow require large turbid rivers. Juveniles inhabit warm backwaters and floodplain areas, while adults occupy deep pools and swift runs where they prey on other fish. They are long-lived fish reaching over 50 years in age and they mature slowly, taking about 5 to 7 years to mature. Historically this fish was very abundant, but it has since suffered dramatic declines due to dam construction, water diversion, habitat alteration, and competition with non-native fish. The species has been listed as endangered under the U.S. Endangered Species Act since 1967. Since then, intensive recovery programs include habitat restoration, dam flow management, fish passage projects, and hatchery restocking. The Sacramento pike minnow is another large generalist predator, but unlike the Colorado pike minnow, it is native to the rivers of California. Adults can reach a length of 3 feet, however such a size for this species is rare, with a typical length being much smaller, usually somewhere around 16 inches. They have a slender, elongated body, a narrow tail base, and a deeply forked tail. Color is dark olive brown on the back, fading to golden yellow on the underside. Smaller juveniles are silvery with a distinctive dark spot on the base of the tail. The Sacramento pike minnow has 8 rays on the dorsal fin and 8 rays on the anal fin. During spawning, males develop a reddish tail coloration and rough breeding tubercles on the head. Sacramento pike minnow are endemic to California and native to multiple river basins in the state. They occupy warm mid-elevation streams and reservoirs. Juveniles feed on aquatic insects and crustaceans, while larger adults shift to a broadly opportunistic diet of mostly fish. They grow relatively quickly and can live up to around 15 or 16 years. This species is quite common throughout its range and is listed as a species of least concern. It has also become invasive in some waters. An example of this is the California's Eel River watershed. In the Eel River, Sacramento pike minnow now prey heavily on juvenile salmon and have few natural predators making them a concerning invasive species in that area. Umpqua pike minnow is the smallest of the four species, and also the pike minnow with the smallest native range. Adults usually reach only 12 inches, but can technically grow larger than that. They are similar in shape to the other pike minnows having a flattened head, a large upturned mouth, and a forked tail. However, this fish has a dorsal fin with 9 rays, and an anal fin with only 8 rays. The Umpqua pike minnow is endemic to Oregon, primarily the Umpqua and Siuslaw river basins. It inhabits pools and slow runs of small streams, often in shallow water. Similar to the northern pike minnow and the Sacramento pike minnow, the Umpqua also preys on small fish, including juvenile salmon. And juveniles often compete with salmonids and other minnows for food. The population for this species is rated as least concern. Notably, this species has appeared outside of its native range in recent decades, likely due to a combination of flood migration and accidental releases. Oregon fisheries have even organized removal programs, similar to the northern pike minnow, where non-native Umpqua pike minnow are targeted to protect native fish. In summary, North American pike minnows are remarkable for their size among minnows and their aggressive feeding habits, and also their complex roles in river ecosystems. From the endangered giants of the Colorado River to the small secretive Umpqua species, each of these fish has adapted to its habitat. Together they illustrate the challenges of managing predatory fish in waterways shared with valuable game fish and endangered species. If you'd like to learn more about the species of fish native to North America, please make sure to check out my other videos on species like sunfish, trout, catfish, sturgeon, and much more. Also if you appreciated this video and you haven't yet subscribed, please make sure to do so as that really helps support me in making more videos like this one. Thanks and I hope to see you on the next one.